Old MacDonald had a school, A-E-I-O-U. All done, Old MacDonald. Can you read me the words today in our UP family, Aiden? As we move toward an inclusive education system where each student is successful, it's key for teachers to understand, support, and collaborate with parents. Stop. Cup. Bump. Good reading, Aiden. Thank you for reading that. That was a good Next reminder bench. of our OP family. I can't believe how awesome of a year Aiden has really had. You know, coming from our last year of Puff, you know, having Aiden having autism and being in the regular classroom has just been so important for us. And to see how well he's done, and now to get him ready for grade one and, and take all the extra things that, that we don't do with neurotypical kids, you know, to prep him more so that he has success in grade one, that, you know, it's just nice that we're able to talk and that we can set that up for him for sure. Parents are powerful partners and an invaluable resource to teachers providing them with information and insight about their child and what works best for that child in terms of learning and positive behavior supports. Going through right now and at school and you know you have safety and all those you know things that around surround that to too. So we're just trying to stop any of that functional behavior that's not functional and um, and redirect him. And if it's something that's thrown, yeah, he has to then pick it up and, and uh, say sorry and kind of... We really need to understand the challenges that parents face and be empathetic to that, and then we can be truly helpful. And that he's all done whatever he's doing. Right. So all done is, is the language you're yep. using, mm -hmm. and that is what we're using at school as well. We as teachers need to listen to parents because they know their children best. We have a very interdependent relationship where if we're listening to them and they're listening to us, the child will succeed. Do I combine those two? Yeah, you can just, we don't have both, so just use margarine and do two thirds plus two thirds. So Kay. a cup and a third of margarine. Okay, so what, were you, what were you doing? Parents are the first teachers of their children and this rule continues after children begin formal instruction at school. Ben, what are you doing? Watching Heroes. We've been watching Gilmore Girls for hours. No, we have not, you idiot. Oh, Mom! Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Parents are actively teaching attitudes, beliefs, values, and skills. They provide experiences that schools cannot. No, we have not. Yeah, we have. Okay, Abby, how much time is left in this episode? Like half an hour. Ben, can you wait half an hour and let her finish this? Parents of children with diverse learning needs often have developed extensive activities through which they support their child's development. You are an awesome raker. Thank you. I feel that it's important to be able to communicate with Ben's teachers to express to them who he is as a person and what his special needs are. Um, because I have an understanding as a mom what he needs at home, it's great to be able to co collaborate with the teachers and express to them how we can work together and help him in the school environment. Right. Yeah, I've got, I'm um, kind of looking at, at pairing the kids up. You know, someone gets to, to take notes and stuff like that, and then we'll, we'll be having like video cameras and, and whatever, so so the kids can, can share and, and pair off and stuff like that. Will, will he be all right, like, with that kind of stuff? Um, he does, he's gonna love the cameras. Um, the one issue is with partnering up, a lot of times he gets left out when okay, the kids nice. are left up on their own to do the partnering up. So mm -hmm. if there's any way we could select a partner for him beforehand, somebody that you think might. Successful. And that's, that's the key word, successful collaboration between the parents and, and the schools. Are, it's so important. It um, actually maximizes the child's development and, and learning. Parents know their children, teachers know the curriculum, and understand teaching and learning. By committing to collaborating, both can identify strengths of the child and focus on collaborating in areas where their knowledge overlaps. It's clearer so, rules about that and time limits as far as who gets the camera for how long yeah. and if he knows beforehand he gets it for 10 minutes yeah. and then has to give it up, he does a lot better. At first I was apprehensive about working with parents, but I've come to welcome and embrace our relationship. I think it's about developing a mutual respect for what we each bring to the table. Scott's a very rigid thinker. Parents and teachers both have their roles in working with children. The challenge and the reward is for teachers and parents to negotiate supportive, mutually beneficial, and rewarding ways to work together. 
being an advocate for their child is always the role of the parent and it is ongoing whether it's a new class or a new school or a new challenge they may face it is always the role of the parent to play as the advocate for what their child needs as educators we honor this role and see it as an expression of the unconditional love of a parent for a child we do our best to work together with parents, building on strengths and providing the best educational program to maximize learning and development. I can't really see in front of me, and I really don't know what I'm doing, but my co-pilot's asleep. Uh.